Welcome to this edition of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about hips a little bit, so uh, high-impact polystyrene. So I did a project over on the Open SCAD channel, and I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, however, this is the result, and I printed it out in polystyrene, and this has been my real first foray into polystyrene, if you will. And i got to admit, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this. So uh, uh, these were actually printed on my modified Da Vinci. Now, the Da Vinci is not overly... Uh, time-lapse friendly. Um, so I do have a shot of it see how it looks on the bed. So through the magic of video, let's go over. And as you can see how it sits on the bed, it, it came out very good. Um, I utilized the PEI, I'll spit it out, substrate um, on the bed for it to adhere to. And uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of warping at the back, and as you remember from the the image, uh, this was at the very back of the bed. This takes up the majority of the bed, so as you saw on there. Uh, so not too bad. Um, this was uh, printed uh, at a 0.3 layer height, and uh, but I think one of the keys, and I kind of want to talk about that for a minute if you're going to print uh, a high-impact polystyrene, um, is the bed temperature so I think one of the keys is getting a very very warm bed so I had to get the bed up to 110 degrees I first started out at about 90 to 100 and it, it didn't work very well so I I got a lot more warping than this um, here so but once I got up to 110 worked like a charm knock on wood there's wood underneath here sorry for bu bouncing in uh, the other thing is um, hot end temperature of 245 so I utilize 245 at the hot end and again really good uh, layer adhesion uh, almost like a pet G type adhesion uh, uh, back and forth in the different layers uh, very light too uh, in comparison yet seems to be pretty sturdy I'm, I'm putting a fair amount of force I don't want to actually see how much to break it. it I think it would take quite a bit I'd have to really reef on it but it is very sturdy so uh, the idea behind this and what I did in the open SCAD channel is for it to lock on to uh, an inch and a half pipe like that and so I have zip strip holes, and this was also printed with, with no supports, and it was printed vertically as you saw. And so the zip strip fits very nicely in here, and the idea is, is I can zip strip these to a pipe and it'll hold on because the idea is, um, and you notice it clips on too, so there's additional support with the clipping. It was designed that way in OpenSCAD is for this to actually mount these to mount like this to hold two pipes together. The other thing that I can also do is um, put it like, mount it like that and then also have it so I can put a support, a hanger, they, they can act as hangers uh, because in also open SCAD I can change the size of these. I can also change the opening size. Um, these are quarter inch uh, design so I can take a quarter 20 bolt put it through here because that's sort of my intention is to take a nylon quarter 20 because this is going to be outside. Um, and mount this like this and so it doesn't rust and, and holds the two vent pipes together so this actually vent pipes on the outside of my house and they, they kind of move um, because one's the vent for the uh, sump pump and that and so I want to hold them together so they're a little bit more attractive looking outside and so this is what I came up with to do that so I'm pretty happy with this and I'm also pretty happy with the way that the hips has come out now I know a lot of folks you utilize hips for just support material but uh, as I'm playing around with it I'm finding that it's a very good material for general build purposes now I do know that it will dissolve in in um, uh, a hydrocarbon solution. I forget the name of it. I'll put it down below. And what people do is they, they print and use this as support material and then dip the part in that. And then obviously this dissolves away completely, leaving the other part. So you don't have the jagged parts of, you know, a, a, an infill or not an infill, but a support that you tear out and leave behind byproduct. So, uh, but I'm going to definitely give this a try more. Now, it does have a little bit of odor, not a lot, sort of like ABS, but what does it smell like? It smells like polystyrene. Uh, if you've ever, you know, kind of like smelled the burn, you know, you've been camping and you took, you know, like an... Um, 
uh, you know, uh, egg crate thing, you know, the things, uh, styrofoam things, eggs come in and you threw it in the campfire. That's sort of what it smells like. Not quite as bad as that because obviously it's quite burning quite a bit, but it does have a light odor. Um, just be aware. And I think printing it in an enclosed printer uh, works better than, probably works better than uh, uh, externally because it obviously, like AV, ABS, avoids the drafts and allows the adhesion to take place better. So again, just my two cents. If you have experience on an open frame printer doing hips, hey, please hit me up down below. Let me know. If you've used hips uh, before quite a bit, again, I'm interested in hearing and, and learning more about what you're doing with it and how it's working out for you because so far, I'm really liking this. It, it, it's, it, this could be start becoming my new fave. Um, you know, the bed temperature is a little bit, I don't want to say worrisome. I, I, you know, it, it takes a lot to get the bed up to 110. And if you're going to do that, uh, obviously it's going to restrict your size a little bit because one of the goals I want to have coming into 2017 is upping the size of what I can print. And, uh, you know, well, yes, I, I could probably do a larger 12 by 12, 12 by 16 with mains powered uh, uh, bed. And it's kind of a pain, but maybe that's just, you know, the, the price of tea in China, if you know what I mean. So anyways, uh, I wanted you to kind of see these pieces and the success I had with uh, uh, hips. And I'll keep you posted as I do more. I do have several other things planned with this, and they're going actually very well. So uh, hey, if you found this interesting and you're interested in hips, hey, give it a thumbs up. Let me know more in the comments below if you got questions. And hey, hit the subscribe button at the end here. Don't forget the swag shop. And uh, hey, see you in the next video. Cheers. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.